indefinite integrals uh, involving trig functions. And these couple problems I want to do today are kind of just undoing the chain rule and see if you can recognize the chain rules. So I'm just going to try to get through two quick examples in, in five minutes or so. So here's the first one. Actually, which one do I want to do first? Which one do I want to do first? I don't know. Let's do this one first. You're going to like this one. It's, <coughs> it's wonderful. It's my, my favorite one that I've done right now. So here it is. It looks like this. So we're going to try to find the indefinite integral of sine cubed x times cosine x dx. Looks terrible. So I'm wondering to myself, how could I make this prettier for you? And I, I could do this. I could do this. I could do this. I'm working on these. Pretty. It's sloppy sometimes, but this one's beautiful. And I could rewrite this, and I could say, look, this is sine of x quantity cubed. Same thing. Same thing here. So that's good news for us, isn't it? That's good news. Times cosine x dx. And I'm looking. I'm searching for patterns, and I'm looking at this, and I'm like, you know what I think I have here? I think I have here. Here, chain rule. Why? Because look at this for a second. What is the, what's the derivative of the inside? The derivative of the inside is cosine x. So I think that's what this is. I think this is cosine x right here. So I can, I can just start integrating this, right? I can integrate this into v sine x to the fourth, right, I'm integrating, so 3 plus 1 is 4, over 3 plus 1 is 4, right, plus C. And I think I can be done with this problem really quickly. I think I can just have this thing dealt with, and I think this is 1 fourth sine to the fourth x. From this is just a way to rewrite this, plus C. So that's a really easy way to do that problem. I looked at, I looked at this, I was like, break it up so I can see it better. I realize that this is a chain rule problem, right? Uh, and you can do this backwards if you want to integrate this, and you'll get right back to here, right? Okay, I'm not going to prove this through integration, but if, if you're not buying it, please make a comment, and, and I'll go back and I'll prove it through integration. I'll send you a personal note and possibly a balloon. Let's do one more of these, and I think this one is... This one is pretty reasonable, I think. Let me see if I can't find it here. It's right here. Yeah, yeah. So let's try to find this indefinite integral here. That's really pretty, isn't it? Of x sine 3x squared dx. I'm looking at this, and I, see, I think this is part of the chain rule. I really do. I think there's something going on here because... Look, I think this, I think this right here is the derivative of, uh, part of the derivative of this in here. So I'm just going to do a little u substitution here and see if I can't clean that up. So I'm going to say let u equal um, 3x squared. And then let's take du dx, the derivative with respect to x is 6x. Move this around and we get du is equal to 6x dx. Right, we, got, we want a replacement for this piece right here, don't we? So I'm going to divide both sides by 6x and get du over 6x equals dx. That's my replacement piece, right? Because I want to replace, right? I'm going to, I want to replace, I want to put this where this goes, right? And I'm also going to do some u substitution with this going to here. So wouldn't that give us this? Wouldn't that give us x sine u? Uh, now, right, dx, here's my replacement for dx. My replacement for dx is du over 6x, right? Now, let's see if you can't see this here. Uh, I, I'm seeing this. I'm like, you know what? This is 1 sixth here. So I'm going to get ready to pull this out so I can see where I'm taking this from. There's, I see the 1 sixth there, 1 over 6. So here's my 1 sixth definite integral of x sine of u times du over x. Let me out here. x in the denominator. 
x in the numerator. They cancel, don't they? Isn't that right? So this is working out good here, I think. And that gives us equals. So I'm going to go ahead and integrate 1 sixth cosine 3x squared plus c. And that's my answer. I like it. I like it a lot. Right? So here is when I did my integration. And you can prove this by going back and differentiating this function, I think, can't you? All right. Hopefully that was helpful.